buddy. This is David at Barnyard Bees. Got to ask a question, see if anyone knows. Of course, I'll give you the answer, but make you think for a couple minutes at first before you figure out what it is. Okay, the bees, we're in full goldenrod flow right now. The goldenrod is everywhere. Um, it's been raining for the last two or three days, but today is sunny. It's cleared up. It looks nice out. The bees are flying. Everything looks good. No rain. Just a little bit windy, but not bad at all. So why are the bees unusually congregated at my pollen feeder? No, it's, if you just think about it for a minute, and this, this will tell you why you should have a pollen feeder out there, even if you have just a few bees, if you're interested in increasing your population of your, of your bees. Now, what happens, even though it's clear and it's sunny today, the pollen is pretty much useless on the goldenrod today because it's been wet. It rained last night. It cleared up this morning. Even though it's sunny out, the bees can't get a thing off that goldenrod. And that's, that's nectar as well. So if you have several days with a lot of rain and you don't have a feeder, you're missing out on giving these bees feed in between. To me, that is very important. If you've got several days without rain, or with rain, several days with rain, even though it's sunny out, the pollen is useless today, for most of the day anyway. And about the time it dries out, then you're in the evening, and the bees are pretty well done anyway. And then if it rains again tonight, the same story goes for tomorrow. So that's why normally there's probably a third of the bees around this feeder. Not like there is today. Unusual amount for a nice warm, it's probably 80 degrees guessing. It's just a perfect temperature, very nice out, but the bees are hungry and that's why they're feeding. So keep that in mind when people tell you you don't need to feed pollen or you don't need to feed sugar water, especially with a, with a hive top feeder even an external feeder, because if you put the feed out, the bees will take it on days like this. So if you didn't have this feeder, they're pretty much doing nothing for today. Keep that in mind. So just a little tip I want to throw out there so people will kind of see this, because I, I walked by and saw how, how populated the bees are at this feeder, and there's a lot of them. And Everything out there in the hive top feeders is full. So even at nighttime, even on days when it's raining, when you've got a hive top feeder, those bees are taking in sugar water, they're increasing population instead of stopping because of the rain. So remember that when people tell you you don't need to feed during a, a nectar flow. There, there are certain days where these bees will take it and they need it. But that's about it. Uh, don't forget, uh, packages nukes are we're taking pre-orders for them now for 2019 the quicker you get them the quicker you order them the quicker you'll get them uh, come March and April so keep that in mind and don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe and there's my little buddy she's always down here following me around she's my buddy don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe Thanks for watching, Barnyard Bees.